So I'll be driving manager Alex and Tola, uh, another frustrating day. Yeah, yeah, the only uh, positive come out, we've got some kids on the pitch, which is nice, because uh, you know, we've got some real good uh, academy boys, so it's nice to see them on the pitch, but uh, yeah, another frustrating afternoon, a sloppy goal, and uh, you know, first half we had enough opportunities to, to score, second half we often puffed, conceded the goal, and uh, confidence uh, dropped out of us, unfortunately. Yeah, we're disruptive like they are as well, you know, they're like young boys out there today. We were disruptive with COVID, with five out of COVID and obviously the injuries we got, but you know, it's still another game where we've, uh, we've not been good enough. I think you started the game pretty well, first 15, 20 minutes before the goal, you looked on top and looked lively, good football. Yeah, yeah, but don't take the opportunities and not got real that real ruthlessness in front of goal and belief. Uh, and then again, like I say, a real sloppy goal, an own goal, wasn't it, near post space. Come off a cow and uh, it sort of drained it out of us again. I felt it looked like we then, then lost our confidence because we've gone one nil down after being on top, and uh, we haven't got enough characters out there to, to pull us through through that. How important was the trophy going into this game? I think it was important because we just want to get that win and get, get some confidence. We knew it was going to be disruptive because of the amount of COVID cases we've got. Uh, and that could continue. That I, we, we, you know, hopefully that's not the case. Because if we start getting any more COVID cases, we're going to miss the Boxing Day and the, the Woking game uh, as well. So, uh, so it was important. It was an opportunity to uh, obviously get some younger ones involved as well, uh, which I was always going to do even without the, 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 the problems we had with, with the injuries. So yeah, it was, for me it was important. Um, you know, because we needed to get a bit of confidence after the week, the Kings Lynn game where we weren't good enough. Talking about COVID, have you had any message from the league? What happens from now? I know the Premier League have got 13 players, you can call games off, but where is the situation? I think you've got five out, you said now. If that mm. continues, what happens then? I'm not actually sure to be fair amount. I think uh, we have to wait and see, but you know, we're, we're keeping our fingers crossed that um, um, we haven't got any more, or we haven't done get any more, because then it becomes a, a, a problem. But Ben Williamson hasn't got COVID, but he's feeling really ill today, so there's no chance of us bringing any data tests since negative at the moment. Uh, that could develop into uh, obviously a positive test. So, um, you know, we're just hoping we don't get any more. But I, I actually don't know. I mean, I, I think I'm sure the league would look at it if there's, if there's, you know, if you have 32 many, then we won't be able to fulfil the fixture. Do you think you need more leadership from the National League about this? Are you surprised games went on today? A little bit because, like, you know, at the top level, they were five games off today. Um, to be honest, I. I listen to a lot of the managers in the Premier League are saying a lot of them have said that you know either we play the games or, or none of us play. You know, I actually agree with that. It's either one or the other, really. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I am surprised there's so many games on, but and I, I'll be honest, I'm nervous. It doesn't look great in terms of how many people are now picking up COVID, and it's um, it's getting worse. So, you know, whether that affects the, the Christmas program, it could well do. Talk about the Christmas programme, you're um, home to Dagenham on Boxing Day another week and another chance to get that all-important first win. Yeah, and hopefully we can get a few back and fingers crossed, you know, hopefully Seth uh, Tomasi will be back. Uh, Daddy Collins has got COVID, but his, his period will be up. He won't be able to do any training, but his period will be up. Reference training, do you do any training the next week or so just to keep the players away from each other, so to speak? I think we've got to train. We need to, you know, I think we're not, we're not, we're not in every day, so... Um, you know, that, that's two nights a week. Well, I don't know that's going to benefit us with the COVID. I'm not sure, really, I suppose. Uh, we're not seeing the players as much, but we do need to train. I certainly need to train and be prepared for, for Dagenham. And, um, you know, so, yeah, it's going to be an interesting week, really. But fingers crossed, as I say, we don't get, too, we don't get any more. I suppose all you want for Christmas is a win, isn't it? 100%, 100%, like everybody. And uh, it's getting hard, you know. It's another game we've lost by the odd goal today. I know it was a mixed team for both teams, but it was another goal, another goal, sloppy goal, but another game where I think that might be our tenth, maybe eleventh game where we've lost by the odd goal. And uh, you know, it's, I feel for the boys, but you know, they, they know my my thoughts on today and last week, um, and we've we've got to put it right. We you know we can't rely on a couple of senior players to try and pull the team along. Some of these younger players that we've got in the squad have got to uh, they've got to stand up and be counted now as well. Brilliant. That's great. Thanks, mate. Awesome.